out here today to share some tips on hiking with kids outside. So when you're thinking about taking a hike with your kids, you want to choose your route carefully. So usually that means something flat, something easy, um, and something with lots of fun things for kids to do in the process. So think about all those one to two milers, easy options <laughs> where you can um, have fun and the kids can explore without it being too hard. We chose to come to Riley Ranch, uh, which is a park in Bend, just because it's pretty close in, but it has some nice natural features to explore and is nice and flat and lots of small little loops you can do so you don't have to go too far if you don't want to. So much like if you're hiking with yourself, you want to make sure you have all your supplies. So food, um, extra clothes. I think if you're bringing kids, you want to make sure you have extra clothes, probably extra socks. Um, food and water and I always pack some um, fun chocolate supplies because they help for uh, keeping the kids motivated. So we have a sort of standing uh, chocolate refuel station for my kids when we're hiking so that they can have a spot to look forward to, grab an M&M or something and move forward. I'm sure there's healthier options but that's what we pick. <laughs> so since it's summer it's always great to um, find a hike or some place that has a little bit of water so that kids can explore it and enjoy it. So that's everything from of course we have awesome lakes and rivers and streams but even small little um, little streams can be super fun for kids to throw things in or play poo sticks or um, just dip their toes in on a hot day. So poo sticks is a game it's, it's, it's named after Winnie the Pooh and it's basically um, taking a stick on usually on a bridge or on a creek and you put it in on one side of the bridge and then run across to see whose stick makes it back first. So it works really great on, on creeks or rivers where you have some flowing water and you can even try it on um, small irrigation. So I would be ready to meander with your kids. A lot of grown-ups are pretty um, focused on a destination and getting there as quickly as possible and kids are really great explorers and they love meandering and whether that's just hopping along next to the trail and finding different things, I really think it's great to let kids lead and find those things in nature that they're interested in and explore and take the time to follow their lead. Uh, that's, you know, everything from smelling a ponderosa pine tree to throwing some rocks in, a, in the water or um, trying to see if you can get a butterfly to land on your nose. You know, I've been hiking with my kids for years and I think that, um, that my kids are sort of a mix. One of them loves them and one of them is not, not a super big hiker. But last summer, I think we had this sort of epiphany where um, we made it up the Tam MacArthur Rim, which is a big hike. My kids are getting a little bit older, older and my daughter got up there and she was just looking around at all the mountains and she turned to me and she was like, mom, is this why you go hiking? And I said, yep, <laughs> it's one of those reasons. I think she sort of had this moment of understanding Wow, if you really, you know, if you if you stick to it and get in there, that you'll um, get to see a lot of really cool things. And it doesn't just have to be mountain views. There's a lot of neat things that I think we discover in hiking, and that's sort of what I think she finally realized. So I think another important thing for hiking with kids is not being focused on your destination, right? I mean, there are so many different things you can do when you're outside. So making it fun is really, really important. So taking that time to follow your kids' lead. Um, and even just not make it that far. Like I don't, kids, most kids aren't really interested in, in chalking up the miles or getting to some place as quickly as possible. They just want to have fun and be outside. So things like scavenger hunts are a lot of fun um, to do along the trail, singing songs, you know, taking the time to go um, look for bugs and what they're doing and watch wildlife. All those things make it a lot more fun for the kids. So I sometimes just throw a couple of super easy tools into my backpack. For the kids uh, one thing is a bug jar you can use any kind of a, a tupperware honestly and um, these ones that have the magnifying top are kind of cool so you can look for ants or any little bugs and carefully collect them if you want to and try not to hurt them and put them in there and it gives a kid a little bit of a closer look um, and then we i have hand lenses <laughs> we've used a lot with my kids when they were little getting older um, and they're just a fun way to really look at um, things more closely than you it's a way to examine stuff and you can put them on a on a string and give them to the kid to put around their neck, neck and let them play with them. Odyssey's Land Trust has a lot of great hikes and we have family focused hikes that are for you to go out with your kids and learn some of that stuff. Um, and you can learn some of the very basics of flowers and birds, but I think you don't even have to know them. It's really more a point of looking at them with your children and understanding and asking questions and saying, what do you think that is? And you can go look them up later. When they're littler, they don't need to know the names, right? You can even have your own names for them um, and eventually learn how to look them up together. So knowing what everything is is not something you need to know to be able to go hiking with your kids.